Hey guys, welcome back to week 3 of Metaverse Champions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Fayoshi to create in the game break-ins. All you gotta do, once you load in the lobby, you're gonna click on view missions. All you gotta do is enter the truck to join the match, and then you gotta talk to Fay. She's sitting outside, and you have to spray paint five pieces of art onto the house, which are just like letters of graffiti. So all you gotta do, hop in this little moving truck right here. I think about 12 people can be in the lobby or so. So, uh, yeah, so basically the storyline does still go as you're doing this. You can pick any character you want. It doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult or what um, like class you are of the characters. It does not matter. There's no, yeah, there's no specific class. But so once you load in, you're gonna load into this house after the players are all loaded in. And then uh, Faye will be there and you can be like, and, and she's like, hey, I need help trade painting. And so after you do that, then you should be able to get the quest. So I'll show you how to do that here in a second once this loads. Because once you load in, you'll be good. So now that we have loaded in, just like that, she loads in here in a second. Yes, now it's going to start going through the storyline, but all you got to do, walk up to Faye right here, click on her. And it's going to be like, hey, I need five, um, five pieces of things spray paint on the house. So all you got to do, it automatically picks the right color for you, I believe. So you got to look at the thing. Well, normally you do. Yeah, so it says find something to paint. So you have to like get your sprayer onto it and then it'll start. So you actually do have to spray it a certain color. So all you got to do is try to climb up to it to so the best of your ability and you can spray all around it and it still gives you the uh, like the in lines. And so all you got to do is just press this to shake the can up because you have to do multiple different colors. So now you spray it blue and you can shake the can again, which you got to click it like five to six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so just like that. And then you just keep on spraying it until it does it. This one, I believe, takes six shakes, seven, maybe. But yeah, so then you get this little like outline there. So now you have one, and you got the little stencil. You start to shake the can again, and like I said, the actual thing does still go on. So just keep that in mind. Like the storyline does still go on, so you have to be careful of that. So like, if one of the bad guys comes up to the house, because there are bad guys and like purge alarms in this game and all that, um, they may try to come attack you. I don't know yet because I. I'd recommend doing the ones in the front first because that's where the bad guys try to come in from. It may take you into these little cutscenes based on what part of the game you're in. So, like, if you start this halfway through, you might have to deal with some cutscenes in the process. But, so, I'm going to keep on shaking this. Like I said, people will still play the game, finding basement keys and stuff like that. And they'll just continue it through. But, so, we're going to keep on spraying this. Two out of five have been completed now. So, now the ones in front of the house are done. That's pretty good. And I think some of these might be... A little bit different for some people because I don't think that everybody has the same graffiti maybe they do I think everybody has the oof one but I don't know if they randomize because like I know there's one that says AJ sucks but I think it's on the other side of the house so I don't know if that's there or not but we will find out because like I said I don't know if everybody has the same one but yeah so you just keep on doing this the graffiti actually is pretty impressive to be honest so now we got three of them completed you still got to shake it up in between and one of the other things is, like, if your cursor's not aiming on it properly, it doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, so I was as you can tell if it's down here, it won't spray. So you have to make sure it's up here. Uh, alright, there we go. So break in, and then we have AJ sucks, and those are the last you gotta get. And she'll do little, like, compliments on your art once you finish. She's like, hey, you did pretty good on this kind of stuff. So, like I said, it may take you into some certain cutscenes. It may even take you back into the house, because there are, like, uh, certain quests and stuff. It's like, hey, you gotta go sit at the table. But really, you actually don't have to actually play the storyline. But like I said, it may teleport you to the house. The bad guys may come and try to kill you in the process. So I did this as quickly as possible. So pretty much the first second you load in, I highly recommend just going outside and getting these done if you're looking for the quest. And if you're just looking to play the game, obviously, you know, play the normal thing. Alright, that fourth one's done. It's even got like a little like stencil sticker on the outside, which is pretty cool. And I think the AJ Sucks one has a picture of AJ as well, but I'm not sure. And like I said, I think everybody's are probably the same. Now that I've seen them all, but I'm not sure. I mean, I wouldn't assume why they'd make, like, 15 different ones. But, yeah, somebody's out the door. And I think that's one of the bad guys or the real pizza man. But, yeah, so it's going to take you into some cutscenes. You can still spray it while you're over here. It might even take you into second cutscene. But, yeah, so, it, but yeah, so it's going to do that. You can tell that I got Faye's thing. But, yeah, but so basically she gives you all these things, says, hey, all that jazz, and AJ's not too happy <laughs> because he sees that. And I don't think you have to walk up to her, because as you can tell, I got a badge. But yeah, so it says, congrats for finishing the mission. The house looks awesome. So now, this house for the lobby is graffitied. So that's pretty cool. So that's a tutorial. Pretty easy. You literally just got to put the spray paint on. So that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.